Ever wonder how well antiseptics really work? To demonstrate, we will expose four antiseptic materials to microbial colonies and observe how they respond. Hand sanitizer, rubbing alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, and dish soap. First off, we will look at the pond water under a cover slip as is to get some better images of the organisms present. There are lots of bacteria in this sample, however what we mostly see here are much larger protozoa. The bacteria are smaller and much harder to observe with this camera. They will respond largely the same however, I just felt the need to clarify this. Maybe I'll do a bacteria specific video at some point. I might even try to isolate some phages if I can get the appropriate stain and am very lucky. I will admit, I felt a little bad running these tests. I may be a bit of a germaphobe myself and use soap and hand sanitizer a lot throughout the day, but it still felt kind of mean. Oh look, a rotifer! The camera might just be able to make out their tiny moving mouth parts, but not very well. I can see them through the eyepiece, but the camera isn't all that good. I tried turning the magnification up to the highest possible lens, but everything is very fuzzy. This lens is incredibly strong. To properly use it, I actually need to use an oil that physically touches the optics and the slide to cancel out refraction. First off, I will introduce a small drop of hand sanitizer to a small drop of water. The sanitizer changes the viscosity of the water and causes a real mess that made it hard to see what's happening. Still, once it calmed down, the once teeming water is now rendered lifeless. I put a cover slip over it to get a better look. I try again, but this time I use a tiny sewing pin and will tap a small amount of hand sanitizer into the drop, hopefully disturbing it less. It's not very effective as it evaporates very fast, so only a small amount got into the water. Still, the small amounts were able to kill a fair amount of them. Next, I try pure alcohol. This is isopropyl alcohol, whereas the active ingredient in sanitizer is ethyl alcohol, but they work more or less the same. This completely changed the viscosity and created massive currents. We didn't get to see very much, but the effects were very dramatic. Once again, the water is now rendered sterile. Alcohol kills microbes by denaturing their proteins. This is why it also kills viruses, fungus, and unwise humans. Up next is the hydrogen peroxide. I add a small drop to a sample of water. Since the viscosity is very close, it's not as dramatic, but we immediately see most of the protozoa start to quickly disappear, followed by micro-bubbles forming around every piece of solid debris. The larger organisms are all mostly intact, but also mostly dead. Hydrogen peroxide works by breaking the cell membranes of microbes by oxidation. I put a cover slip over it so we can see it clearer. All the bubbles are the peroxide decomposing into water and oxygen. The smaller bubbles you see here are very small, almost microscopic in fact, so it looks rather vigorous, but to the naked eye I can only see the largest of the bubbles. This drop is not completely sterile, some life still remains. Peroxide is an antiseptic, but doesn't work as well as alcohol. 
Lastly, I use some soap. You can see the side of a soap bubble getting closer to the water. Contact is made, and the soap now mixes into the water. You will notice the shape of a lot of the protozoa changes, and some seem to disappear or pop. Here we see the insides of one floating by. Soap, in this case dish soap, is an emulsifier. It attacks oils and fats by breaking them up. On your hands, it emulsifies the oils in your skin, allowing stuff to more easily wash off. At the microscopic scale, the soap emulsifies the cell membranes as they are made up of phospholipids, a molecule made up of fatty acids. I try the pin method with the soap next. It was actually a lot more effective than I thought it would be. Likely because it's not as volatile, so a lot more of it was actually transferred into the water compared to the sanitizer. Finally, I try putting some dish soap on the underside of a cover slip and dropping it into the water. It was much easier to see, and as expected, most of the activity stops. The water then started to flow to one side of the slip, creating a current. But we can still see the inactive protozoa, some with punctured membranes, flowing by. Well that was actually very interesting. I was hoping to get a clearer shot of the membranes failing, but the results still speak for themselves. If I can make a better method for delivering of the antiseptics into the water to get better views, I'll be sure to make a sequel to this video in the future. Until then, don't forget to wash your hands with soap and water, use an appropriate sanitizer on cuts and scrapes, and thanks for watching.